Hey everyone, it's Samantha at Vanilla Mom, and I have a, what I think is a sinus infection. I sound really terrible, so I hope it's not super annoying, but it's annoying to me, so I, uh, I apologize. I ended up doing my other video um, for my first of two weeks, so this week is going to be the second of two weeks. I might make this three weeks so that the two-week grocery hauls will be together. I did not do so great this last week. I ended up needing quite a few things um, for this second week, and I had planned on going anyway just to get produce. So my ticket was a little bit higher than I wanted it to be, but I'm still really close to um, under 200. I was like right above 200, which I don't think is bad for two weeks. I've been spending way more than that for two weeks, so it's still good, but it's not as... Not as good as I want it to be. Olivia's angry. Okay. So, I'll go ahead and walk you through the produce and then the rest of the stuff. Got some green onions, some zucchini, some avocados. I'm hoping these will stay good until the end of the week. If you want to see my meal plan for this week, it's on my last week's video. I'll link that down below because um, I did a two-week meal plan. And then some cuties. or These are halos. Green pepper onions, baby carrots, and the potatoes were on sale 99 cents for a five pound bag. So I went ahead and got one. We'll have it for breakfasts. And I want to make some potato, like potato nuggets or potato cakes for her for lunches. So I'll just use some spinach out of the freezer with those. And then she ran out of blueberries. She loves frozen blueberries. We just take them straight out of the freezer. She really likes those. And these organic ones are small enough that I don't have to cut them up, which is really nice. I got a lot of yogurt. We've been sick on and off, so I just wanted to boost up some probiotics. I don't know if it really helps or not, but I'm gonna give it a try. So I got these Siggy's mixed berry and acai, uh, blueberry, and um, a strawberry in that brand, and then some of these Stonyfield organic. I got a raspberry and a vanilla, and then a lemon Noosa. I don't know how to say that one. It's Colorado Fresh. I don't know. It's a hippie kind so I'm gonna try that one I've not tried any of these I'm not sure Olivia's gonna necessarily like anything but we'll see got some orange juice back there again trying to just boost up the vitamin C I'm not sure it helps then some cinnamon swirl bread cinnamon raisin bread they didn't have the bagels this week so I went ahead and got that whole wheat bread some tortilla chips you might see Olivia's foot and then these were on sale. I'm going to give these a try. They are candy cane morsels and also mint morsels. I meant to get a caramel and one mint, but I ended up with two mints. Diced tomatoes, some fruit, some cilantro. I'm going to give this kind of try. It's supposed to last a while in the fridge. For treats, I got Johnny a bagel and me one of these things of bagels. And Olivia needed a new toothbrush. So she got a pack of toothbrushes. My total for the week is 82.87 and I'll show you guys the other week next. So I went ahead and put everything that was cold already in the fridge and the freezer and I will insert that clip here in just a second and show you guys what I got. Um, but this week is our bigger week. I'm going to try to make this be the bulk of the next three weeks possibly. I do need to go for fresh produce again next week and I'm going to need a loaf of French bread coming up I think this week might be next week so I'll go just run to the store that day and get some fresh um, French bread. So since I've been sick pretty much on and off it seems like for the past couple of months you know Olivia just catches everything. She's building her up immune system up and I have a terrible immune system I am really going to try to um, bump up what I'm eating eat more vegetables eat more fruits and the way I'm really going to do this is through smoothies so I'm going to try to make some really healthy smoothies I got a lot of stuff I just went gung-ho on the smoothie stuff so I will try to have at least one smoothie a day and just up my fruit and vegetable and nutritional intake as I've not been doing the greatest. I've been eating a lot of sugar, a lot of really junky snacks. So I'm going to really just try to clean up my diet a little bit. So I did go a little bit crazy on some of the healthier stuff, but I also got some junk too. 
Anyway, I'll go ahead and insert that clip of the cold stuff and then I'll walk you through the rest. For cold stuff, we've got two bags of baby spinach, some rotisserie seasoned chicken breast, some butter. I ended up using the butter spread last week because I was out of butter sticks and had to use it for, I needed butter for a couple of recipes. So I almost used the whole butter spread through that. And then I got yogurt. Olivia really liked this, this particular brand. It is the Smooth and Creamy Organic Yogurt from Stonyfield. And this is raspberry and I also got two vanillas. Some eggs, some matchstick carrots, some baby carrots, some romaine lettuce back there. I got lots of drink stuff, so I got milk, three things of the orange juice, we like the no pulp. Then a coconut milk and an almond milk. I got the unsweetened plain variety in both. I also got some pomegranate juice and then these naked things were on sale, buy two get one free and they were actually on sale $2.50 each so I ended up getting three for five dollars which was really good. I ended up getting nine of those. I got three of the blue machine, three of uh, probiotic tropical mango and then three of the green machines so those will just go in the fridge for a while. They're good until March. I'll have those on days I don't make smoothies I guess. Um, then some corn, some strawberries, two things of frozen stuff. I've got some beer battered fish and then some popcorn shrimp, a thing of waffles. Olivia really likes these. The Vans power grains with protein and then also a thing of bacon. I do have a two week meal plan written out. I'm hoping some of the meals can stretch to be three night meals. I did a lot of where I built in a leftovers for the next night. Um, so we'll see how far I can stretch it. Hopefully I can stretch this to be three weeks worth and if not, it'll be at least two weeks worth. As for the other fresh stuff that didn't already go in the fridge, I got some zucchini, broccoli, some avocados, some jazz apples for Johnny, some tomatoes. These are on the vine tomatoes, green peppers, lots of bananas. Those will be for smoothies. And Olivia and I can snack on them some, but she hasn't really liked bananas lately. Um, green beans. Then for breakfasts, I've got cinnamon raisin bagels and cinnamon swirl bagels some buns these are just whole wheat buns back here is our extra sweet treat i got a donut for johnny and they didn't have any donuts i wanted so i just got this pack of donuts i love those kind they're so bad for you <laughs> they are delicious i got some pretzel sticks it just sounded like a good snack um somebody brought pretzels to a play date and then i've been wanting pretzels ever since so i just got those some corn chips and tortilla chips these will be used for some dinner recipes coming up and we can also snack on those back here i've got some graham crackers for snacking some more straws some goldfish for snacking olivia has had goldfish at a couple of play dates recently and just has loved them so i went ahead and got her a pack um, they didn't have any of the like the hippie brand ones, you know, like the the cheddar bunnies by Annie's. So I just picked up these, and when I go to Target, I'll get some of the Annie's ones that are you know a little bit more hippie tastic. I don't think the goldfish are all that bad anyway. I got some more of the special dark chocolate. I've been loving the mochas. I still have some K cups left I can use for the next few weeks. We did some parsley and some bouillon cubes. I also got another thing of the salsa. I still have one jar, but I go through this really fast when I'm on a salsa kick. I can finish that jar pretty quickly. And some more prunes. Olivia's been loving the prunes. She absolutely loves prunes. Some more diced peaches and the 100% juice. And over here, I've got some things for smoothies. I got some chia seed and some flax seed. I'm just gonna stick both of those into my smoothie. And I've got a Ninja blender, so it should blend those up pretty smoothly. And then some almonds for just healthier snacking. Decaf green tea for Johnny. And then I finally found these. We've had these at Playdates, too. And I've looked for them at my grocery store a few times. Never have been able to find them. And they have them on this random end cap. And I was so excited. These are just snap pea crisps. They're made out of like rice flour. They've got green peas mixed in. They're gluten-free, GMO-free, you know, you know, a little bit healthier, but Olivia liked them at a plate eight. So I thought that'd be a nice little healthy snack. Some beef broth, some chicken broth, lots of canned beans and veggies. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be using these in lots of recipes coming up. So I've got some water chestnuts, a few cans of the French style green beans, a can of sweet peas, a can of garbanzo beans, a can of the baby corn, I'm gonna do a stir fry with this in the 
water chestnuts, a lot of black beans, some diced tomatoes, and some red beans. And then back here I've got three jugs of water to go in the Keurig. My husband uses that thing way more than I do. He loves the tea. And so I ended up going back in the store after I, um, I bought everything. I went back for more of those naked juices, so I ended up getting three of the naked juices in this original order for $205.85, and then I got a coupon for $2 off four, so I went ahead and went back in and got six. So they were buy two, get one free. I ended up with six for $8.10. So uh, the total there together is like two fourteen. I don't think that's too bad. Like last time, I think I'll do a blog, a quick blog post and, you know, talk more about everything and line up recipes with um, the meal plan. So I wrote out a two-week meal plan, and I'm hoping I can get three weeks worth. You know, some of the nights hopefully we'll have leftovers um, for more than what I had put in here. I went on Sunday, so tonight... I'm doing tortilla soup. Tomorrow we'll do leftover tortilla soup. And then I've got some chicken in the freezer. I'll do baked chicken with roasted veggies and I'll take the rest of the chicken off the bone and then we'll make the chicken chili with that. And it's gonna be the same as that taco chili that we serve over chips. It's a crock pot thing, but instead of the ground beef, I'm using the chicken. Then we'll have leftovers one night, hopefully two nights with that. Then we're gonna do catfish sandwiches. And that's the day I'll need the French bread. So I've got some catfish fillets. I'll just bread those with some breadcrumbs and cook them. And we'll have sandwiches. I'll have some tomatoes and lettuce with that. Then we'll do a pasta night. I'll just make some random pasta with whatever we have left. I'll use up whatever fresh veggies we have that night. And then we'll do pulled pork with green beans. That'll be a crock pot meal. And we'll have leftovers at least one night with that. Probably two. It does make a lot of pulled pork. Then we're going to do chicken stir fry. A long time ago I bought those Panda Express sauces. So we will have the stir fry. That's what the water chestnuts in the baby corner for. I'll throw in whatever veggies we have for that. Definitely some zucchini and spinach probably. Then we'll do a breakfast night. I want to do pancakes with omelets. And that's just something I've been really wanting. We also have bacon for that too. I bought a pack of bacon. Then we've got some clam strips I never ended up using for anything. So we're just going to bake those and have veggies to go with that. We'll have one out to eat night. And then I'm going to do a big pot of veggie beef stew. And with that one, I have some just beef stew meat in the freezer, and I probably can get three meals out of that night as well. I'll just throw in a lot of the beans and that and the chili. So I ended up buying a bunch of different kinds of beans and stuff um, for some of these recipes, and we'll just stretch it out as far as we can. We'll probably have another out-to-eat night, possibly each week. I don't know why I didn't build one into this week, but I just didn't. So we'll probably have three out-to-eat week <laughs> out to eat with the next three weeks. So this is supposed to be our light week and I just couldn't do it. I totally fail at this two week thing so I think I'm just giving up. I'm gonna go back to my regular old thing because I cannot get the grocery budget down. And I don't wanna skimp on things either. I mean, I want us to eat pretty decently and it's just somewhere I'm just not willing to, you know, eat beans and rice 24 seven or anything like that. So, it was still high. I give up on my two week thing. I think next month I will start doing the same old thing I was doing before and watching sales here and there. But other than that, I'm just, I'm not willing to coupon. I'm not willing to scrimp on our groceries. And um, Olivia's joining us right here. She's having some cuties. Olivia, can you say hi? <gasps> can you say hi? Nope. Not even a smile, huh? No, she's too busy eating. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. I do have my meal plan already posted for you guys. So I'm gonna be working on really a three week meal plan and next week's groceries, I'll just tack on to the next grocery video I do for you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I got some broccoli, jazz apples for Johnny, two bags of spinach. We've been having this in smoothies and I've been putting it in some meals here and there. Um, for our special treat, I got us some donuts, and I ended up getting two for each one of us. Let's see if I can look. I got fried croissants for me, and then, um, what are those? Long Johns for Johnny. They're just long donuts with um, chocolate on top. Uh, Olivia needs more snack. We're having Cheerios now. Yeah? Are they yummy? Uh -uh. 
Ah. Yeah, Cheerios. Cheerios. All right, so I've got onions, avocados. Back there, I've got coconut milk and one thing of orange juice. We still have one in the fridge, but we go through about two a week. Um, bananas, and Olivia's been back to liking bananas, so she gets about half of a banana when I make a smoothie. Some bagels for breakfast. I've got cinnamon swirl and cinnamon raisin. Some bread, some eggs, some more water for the Keurig. I don't know how much we've got. And then these were on sale. I've been really liking these fish fillets for lunches here and there. I know these aren't the greatest for you, but Olivia has these with us too. Um, so we've got the crunchy fish fillets, beer battered fillets, and then one thing of the, <coughs> one thing of the extra large fish sticks, two cans of green beans, a can of whipped cream, um, long grain rice, some more raisins, she loves the raisins, a thing of corn chips for a recipe coming up this week, and two pounds of um, chicken. We've got the golden classic, which is a low sodium, and then rotisserie chicken. I got a pound of each. Olivia's really been liking the chicken lately, so I wanted to get her the low sodium, and then a thing of tissues. And like I said, I cannot get the grocery budget down. I totally give up. This is 86.04, which isn't bad if it's just, you know, the week of groceries, but I spent a lot last week. Um, so yeah, I give up. I'm going to go back to just trying to get whatever we need that week and not try to do the two week thing. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like grocery hauls and meal plans. Don't forget to check out my blog post linked down below. Olivia's being silly. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.